So we're at the Greater New York meeting in Manhattan, having a phenomenal show. You guys have all seen David Harris before. He's a Canadian who ex who uh, has always been the number one expert in embezzlement. Thank you. And we did a uh, podcast on that. In fact, your firm started out just specializing in embezzlement. That's what we do. And then we, um, I was talking to you, I was saying hi, and you said there's a new product, a new software that you're Manuel Barroso. Correct. Um, and you're from Miami. Correct. And you started a software that helps for, for predict that. embezzlement? Correct. So, Correct. so um, I, I think most dentists are wondering about that. So tell, tell us what, here, you take this, or here, you take this, because you two are smart. So tell them how it works. So David, I, I met actually last year, uh, we own pedo, doctor, uh, pedo offices in Miami, and um, we've been thinking about embezzlement for a while. Um, um, so are you a pedodontist? My wife is a pedodontist in Miami, a high volume practice. Um, David actually had to be in town on a Patterson, was it a, dent, a meeting or something? I, I was speaking at, okay. uh, yeah, for, uh, for our friend Irena. Correct. So in pa a Patterson uh, workshop or meeting, I, b I happened to be there and as a software entrepreneur, I, I got an idea. I said, why don't we actually get uh, David to uh, expand his reach? Uh, and a new distribution channel called the internet, right? So that's a little bit how the idea started. Uh, and I went to David and say, hey David, I'm Manuel, uh, I'm a software entrepreneur, I build tech companies for a living, and I would love to actually get the intellectual property that you guys have built for the last 20 years and make it affordable for every doctor out there to, uh, you know, for every doctor out there. So, so this is your software? Well, it's, it's, his IP. it's, it's our software. Correct. Uh, it, we've supplied the algorithms for detection of embezzlement, and Manuel has built with his with his software development team has built the, the so ability you to took extract. This idea to your pediatric dentist wife, did she give you a timeout? No, did actually, she put her hand over your mouth no, not at all. Uh, all the contrary. I mean, <laughs> she was the one most interested in having it. Again, as a high volume pedo practice, seeing between forty and sixty patients a day. Um, we were starting to feel the pain in terms of the amount of transactions, financial transactions in the practice and the management of that, of that data. So every software company here in the U.S. Did, really didn't actually help us, uh, not on their setting on the data, that was important, but on the, the most important factor that's not losing the money, right? And, and making sure that the revenue was controlled uh, in terms of ultimately getting to the bank. Um, so that's a little bit, so my wife, as any doctor here in the U.S. actually, they probably had you know, many nights without sleep thinking about embezzlement, thinking about, you know, staff members that they trust, uh, and then ultimately, you know, that leads to embezzlement. But my wife came and said, this is a great idea, make it happen, and use my first office actually as a test pilot for the product. So we started, uh, we launched back, uh, so Dev and I met back in November. By March, we were live with an initial version. Uh, and then we started to pivot the product towards what we call now financial automation. So David is what we call, we're like the smoke alarm, and David is what we call the fire, the fire truck or the fire uh, company, right? So when the fire is there, we, you know, shield doctor will call David and say, take a look at this, call the doctor, and definitely there's a case you want to handle. Uh, but we are, we, we're similar in terms of what we call the, the credit, uh, credit score monitoring services. So for 20 bucks a month, well, we don't cost 20, but a similar analogy would be for 20 bucks a month, you get your, you know, a credit card, uh, credit score companies such as Trans TransUnion, Experian, and those guys actually monitor your credit score. Well, for a hu for hundred bucks a month, we not only monitor you from embezzlement, but we also automate several tasks that actually are important for the practices. For example, embezzlement standalone is, I mean, just a practice management software by itself doesn't help us prevent embezzlement. So we needed to actually reconcile the information with the banks and the merchant or the credit card companies, right? So we developed technology to real time uh, reconcile whatever is in the bank to the practice management software. Uh, and when Manuel first approached me, there, there's other software on the market that looks for embezzlement, but it does it in a really simplistic way. What it does is it looks inside the practice management software for certain types of transactions, and Shielder does that as well. Um, but I said to Manuel initially, we need to go beyond that. You know, this is 2015, and we can access other types of information. So the, the, the brilliant innovation that Manuel and his team came up with was the ability to, for example, read information from the client's bank. And when somebody's practice management software says that a certain amount was received, let's say by credit card, to reconcile it and to, con to confirm with the bank that that money was actually received. So now we've gone beyond simply looking inside the practice management software 
into taking a much bigger look and being able to access other sources of information and kind of compare one against the other. Correct, correct. So a lot of the innovation and uh, evolution of the product has been on conversations that we're having with other doctors that um, uh, because the, the platform is very easy to actually install, it takes about two minutes uh, and it's, it's available on web or in an iPhone app. Uh, so we started to have meaningful conversation with the doctors in terms of what other needs they might have that fit under the um, uh, financial automation and embezzlement protection umbrella, right? So uh, the, the software keeps evolving towards fitting, uh, satisfying those needs that the doctors have in order to maximize their, their, their profits, but at the way, protect the practice against embezzlement by automating several financial tasks that are there. For example, doctor payment distributions are huge in this industry, especially if you have several practices. Uh, it can actually become a, a, a pretty important and complex task to actually execute on a monthly basis. So that's uh, that's one other area we're looking into. Um, HR is another area we're looking into. Um, so anything that creates an unbiased source for the doctor to trust uh, on financial transactions, that ultimately protects them against investment, something that we're going to be interested in actually doing or, and are currently actually trying. So how much does this cost? What's the bottom line? It's peanuts. Um, and, and to give it some context, and you and I have had this conversation before, there's about a 60% chance that a dentist will be embezzled <laughs> at some point in their career. And last time we looked at our numbers, um, the average amount that a thief stole before they got caught was over $100,000. That doesn't count, Howard, the, what I will call remediation costs. In other words, when you're embezzled, what the person stole from you is only the beginning. There are more costs. Okay? Against that, for $99 a month, you can monitor embezzlement and the other kinds of automation that this will do will save anybody easily many times the cost in labor so it's $99 a month you would you would download this onto your uh, your server Correct. yeah your server there, and that would be um, Microsoft uh, yeah there's a little piece Is there that an Apple version uh, no, there's a right, right now. There isn't. Uh, it's the, the software that's currently supported is Dentrix, EagleSoft, and Open Dental. But Manuel's bright guys are are now building bridges to other software. I think uh, the CareStream yeah. CareStream products are going right. to be next. So soft soft end and practice works. And practice works. Um, Mac Practice, which is which is probably the biggest uh, Macintosh based software for general dentists, will be on the list eventually. I mean, it's just a it's just a case so it's of ninety nine dollars a month, but you also said you can download it on no, no, the yeah. on an app. Well, that the, be, uh, the the interface comes on your iPhone. So j just to clarify, there are kind of three parts to it. There's a uh, there's a data transfer part that sits on the on the doctor's server, and that sends data to uh, the central processing, which is cloud based, and that's where the embezzlement engine functions. This is the this is the part that's looking for embezzlement. Then data sent virtually real time to somebody's iPhone. So the beauty of this for the doctor is they have right in their hand their practice management information. Um, related to embezzlement and related yeah. to revenue leakage. And, yeah. and just to ma manage the practice. I mean, there's a, there's a dashboard function that's been built for the, for the iPhone and there's a, so, so there's, a, there's an Apple-based interface or there's a web-based interface. You know, if somebody's using a Samsung phone, they can, they can get it via the web interface instead. Uh, and either, either one will will give you the information uh, about what's going on in your practice. I mean, what, how, how much receivables are unpaid? How many, uh, what, what amount of receivables is overdue? Um, Write-offs, write adjustment, so, things like that. He was saying in the beginning, it was kind of like, this is going to be the smoke detector. Yep. And then, was, and then you'll come and do the fire truck. I'm, I'm the explain, fire department. So explain what, um, what's going to set it off, and then what would he actually come in and do? So, so David has developed technology, uh, we call it paper technology for the last 20 years to detect embezzlement, right? Um, it does take a ton of time to do that. Uh, it used to be non-scalable because it, it was very human intense, intensive in terms of, of labor costs. Um, so we actually got that technology, paper technology, and, and put that into algorithms, uh, into software, right? So it's, it, uh, then what happens is whenever we, it works actually silently on your on your on your on your background, um, and then when we start populating the dashboard with different type of alerts, they go from red alerts, green alerts, and blue alerts. Right? Red. I'm sorry. Red, blue, blue red, blue, and green. So whenever the red red alerts start to be uh, more bigger and bigger and bigger, uh, definitely there's where we tell the doctor you want to have a call with David. Um, initial traditionally the embezzlement. 
um, again, embezzlement, by only analyzing the practice management software data is not relevant. You need to have financial information from the banks, credit card merchants, and so forth. So that's where the key component went into, right? Uh, so those three actually type of alerts will let us know, similar to our credit score, the propensity of the practice to be embezzled. If it's more than, if it's less, it's close to 600, uh, again, uh, so you have a really bad credit score at 600. If you're close to 600 on our score, we call it a shield, shield, a shield doctor score, then we'll pass that all on to David because, and we'll tell the doctor, listen, you, it's important you have a conversation with Prosperity for that purpose. Okay, okay you, you guys are talking to thousands of dentists right now. Thousands of dentists who are sitting and drying to work and you're making them sick because they're thinking, damn, my, my house manager, Shirley, she, she, she's my daughter's grandmother. Yeah. She baptized my grandmother. I don't think she would do it, but would she? Um, they're all alone. They're driving to work. They're on a treadmill. What are some red flags? Give us some case. Right? How, Absolutely. How, how, does your, how does your office manager, who is your daughter's grandmother and her, on her baptism, how does she actually steal money from Doc? Uh, Howard, I, I've always maintained the principle that we will not, in a public forum, discuss specific methodologies. So if, if any... You don't want to teach anybody how. I have this nightmare about turning embezzlers into better thieves. So, <laughs> so I... I Tammy, I'm, will you go for a walk right now? So, so I'm, 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 I'm not going to give a do-it-yourself kit. Uh, I will say a couple of things. First of all, there's no such thing as a safe practice. We have seen embezzlers who fit that profile you mentioned about, you know, the... the a relative. Uh, we've seen spouses embezzled from doctors. We've seen in group practices doctors stealing from each other. Um, you know, there is no amount of trust and there is no amount of religion that somebody has that will stop them from stealing from you. So, so you've seen um, devoutly religious people do it, atheists do it, young, old. I mean, is there any profile that a thief looks like? Is there? No, and, and, and here's the thing about that. Uh, everybody walks around with this mental picture of what to them a criminal looks like. They will never hire anybody who is remotely close to that profile. So everybody you hire has already been th through your implicit screening process. The only problem is that that process is flawed. It isn't perfect, and it, it only weeds out certain people. So the comments we get when somebody finds out who their embezzler was, that's the last person I would think was steal. Uh, in a, a lot of cases, these people are actually, believe it or not, Sunday school teachers. Uh, there, is, there is no safe practice. There is, is no particular profile where we can say, okay, somebody, somebody fits them, that demographic, therefore they must be an embezzler. Embezzlers can be young, they can be old, they can be of, of but, any but, educational but you background. you told me they are never a short, fat, bald guy. You told me that. Um, but I was talking about me, not you. <laughs> um, yes, that's right. Short, fat, bald guys are the one, the one safe group. Safest group ever. That's us. <laughs> uh, however, it, it could be anybody. So how they steal, well, the first thing I'll say about that, they can steal cash, they can steal checks, they can steal credit card payments. Any form of wealth transfer can be monetized. Um, we see a never-ending variety of clever ways to do it. And about once a month, I get a, a kind of almost jubilant phone call from one of my investigators, and they found some new methodology. And for them, this is you know as exciting as it must have been for the guy who discovered root canals. So, so David, um, so how sure are you if someone went to it's shielddr.com, shielddoctor.com? Yes. So if one of my homies went to www.shield dot or s h i e l d r dot com yes is it shield r dot com or shield doctor shield doctor if if someone went to s h i e l d r dot com signed up gave you 99 bucks 100 bucks a month yeah. um what what percent of the time do you think this um it, the smoke alarm would go off if they were stealing from you to where uh, you would get the uh the smoke alarm fire sensor and uh you'd be looking into it um you know, once, once all the algorithms are fully implemented, and, and we're still in a, in a testing phase, and one of the things that means is that right now people can, can use Shield Doctor without, uh, without paying for the, for the next few months anyway. Because really? we're, we're I, I didn't know that. Well, you know, we don't tell everybody that, but, you know, your townies should have a little head start on the rest of the world, right? We just right. launched it actually in, back in 88 in Washington. Yeah. Th that and was, right now it's free. Yeah. Right, yeah. We, so we want to get as many doctors in a pilot program as possible. Uh, group practices, DSOs, MSOs. Uh, for multi-practices, by the way, it's really interesting because we generate 
uh, a multi-practice dashboard so the doctor owner or the doctor management or the management team can see all the practices under one single dashboard and then go to the specifics per practice as well uh, but go uh, return to david's comment uh, it's free uh, for, for a while until we, we, uh, we're, we're really sure that it's, um, the, the features that we want to have are there. But the features, it's, a, it's, a, it's, a, it's an ongoing conversation dialogue with, with uh, not the features, the features, not algorithms, because the algorithms are there because of prosperity. But the, the other features that the doctors see as valuable, that's something that's still in development. And, and, and based on the pilot program that we've launched, it helps us actually get to the next level. Um, so it's, it's, it's $99 a month, but for now it's actually free. Um, to answer your question, there are some types of embezzlement that Shield Doctor will never find. For example, if somebody is using your credit card and buying their personal stuff with it in the office, Shield Doctor will not find that. Um, at the moment, and this is, this is contemplated for a future release, but at the moment, if somebody's abusing payroll, Shield Doctor will not find that. So it's, it's, it's limited to a subset of fraud, and, and, and the subset is uh, that which takes place in the practice management software. Um, if embezzlement is happening there, I'm fairly confident that Shielder is going to ring some alarm bells. Uh, if it's happening outside the practice management software, for now, that's, so that's outside so what the are reach. So other things you can do? Like, um, we hear things that um, um, <coughs> canceled bank checks should be sent to the doctor's house, not the office. Um, that the person making the deposit should not be checking the mail, or is there is there besides Shield Doctor, are there any other low hanging fruit things you uh, can do? There, there is, but it's it, it's going to be in a in a little different direction than that. Um, what what I think a lot of dentists do is they underestimate the embezzlers who work for them, and they believe that they can outsmart the embezzler by by locking doors. In other words. Um, I see a lot of doctors, for example, who take the bank deposit to the bank personally. And the reason they do that is they're, they're fearful that if they allow a staff member to make the bank deposit, that money will disappear. Uh, and don't misunderstand me, I will never suggest that making the bank deposit personally is a bad idea. But if I work for you and if I've already decided that stealing is the appropriate thing for me to do and I can't do it that way, I'm not just going to give up. I will look for another way and I'll probably find it. There, there are a lot of ways to steal from you. I mean, we've, we've cataloged about 300 and we're not done. So if, if you frustrate my first choice and my second choice and my third choice for how to steal from you, that's probably not going to turn me into an honest person. It's going to leave me as somebody who wants to steal from you and just needs to figure out how. Uh, so I will never discourage the implementation of internal controls, but at the same time, I don't think any of them have the power to stop embezzlement. Right on. So, uh, anything else you want to say? Um, well, so it's it's very exciting to have conversations with doctors about what they think about embezzlement, uh, what they think about the future of financial automation, um, and we're just here trying to serve our mission, uh, which is help them protect uh, their money, um, which seems to be something that very uh, daunt very daunting task until we came on board, um, and uh, we're just trying to actually get the word out there. Um, so, so no, it's, it's just been an amazing ride in the last 12 months, 16 months developing this relationship and the software, and, uh, and we hope people sign up. Well, I just want you to go home and tell your lovely wife that uh, I think the hardest thing in dentistry would be to be a pediatric dentist. I mean, to <laughs> deal with yeah. screaming kids all day. I, uh, I, <laughs> when, I, when I refer my patients to a pediatric dentist, I just thank God <laughs> that someone is. like your wife is willing to do it because I'd rather, I'd rather be embezzled from all day long than be a pediatric dentist. So that is a, what a saint. That, thank uh, you. Does she like it? She lo she's really good at it. Yeah, she loves it. Does yeah. she just like come home and like drink straight vodka until she passes I, I, out? Actually, or? you'd be surprised. She's a very savvy business person as well. Super really? savvy. And, Super. and it doesn't stress her out. No, and many of the ideas that have come from the software came directly from the, the operation of her dental office. So if you go, for example, to the site, how it works, it works very similar to a morning huddle. So it, it, it puts things into perspective how a doctor is going to use the, the service. So everything from the morning huddle, having meaningful conversations with the staff, instead of going through the you know the tons and tons and tons of reports that she used to have at EagleSoft, now she pulls, 
chill doctor directly and she's able to have a conversation about adjustments about cash payments about credit card reconciliations wow. directly with the staff as opposed to just pulling out report after report well, after report. Well you know report. what you ought to call your wife and, and uh, maybe have her um, call my office manager Robert <laughs> and maybe we, we should be one of your beta sites. And, I uh, will be lovely. If you're yeah. beta site then someday maybe we'll write a column about it or talk about it on Dental Town. That will be great. Fantastic. Yeah. I would love it. Thank yeah, you. She's in Miami. She's in Miami. Yeah. Yeah. And, uh, and tell her to get on Dental Town and talk about it. Oh, well, definitely. Yeah, we'll definitely do tell her. You know, the pediatric dentist, there's 50 forums in Dental Town, you know, and, uh, you know, Endo and Empire. Pediatric dentistry is about the fifth most active forum on Dental Town. And some of the biggest names in pediatric dentists, like Josh Wren, I mean, they're on there all the time. So uh, she might really like the pediatric dentistry forums, and that might be a good place for her to tell us uh, what oh, the story her, and her, and her husband are doing. Excellent. And thank they all so already much. know you. You're the legend in, uh, in embezzlement. So uh, thank you, gentlemen, thank for all you, so you do. And thanks for letting me snag you from your busy booth at the Greater New York and come over to my booth thank and you. talk to my, to my homies. Great to thank talk you. to you. All right, guys. Thanks, Take folks. Take care.